Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifar. Today I'd fully scripted out a video rundown of the state of 3.3 according to the roadmap. I thought there might be value to check out the current state of the roadmap as we're expecting Evil Cuddy to drop any day now. Then around the verse happened. Sadly in the final 20 seconds of ATV today a significant chunk of bad news was dropped as a simple by the way or footnote. What they said is technically OCS and Hurston are still dropping in 3.3 but not immediately. We don't have a time frame, but we do have a number, 3.3.5. So stuff goes pear-shaped and we're very familiar with delays, but I feel there's a pretty big difference between seeing something's coming out in 3.3 and something's coming out later in 3.3.5. We were reassured that there's gonna be an update this Friday. So the Coles notes, it seems like 3.3 is gonna drop on time without OCS and therefore without a way to add Hurston. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you that today is the 20th of September, 2018, and that means a new Patreon-sponsored giveaway, and this is a big one, so please stay tuned for that. So moving on as planned, I'm going to cover the items clumped into groups. Locations and characters, ships and items, gameplay and tech. Let's begin. OCS isn't the only thing coming up with 3.3. Lumped in with the planet and moons of Hurston are the truck stops. Hurston is such a great distance away that we also need a new type of station. The truck stop is going to act like a mini cryastro, but with stores and kiosks. Not all ships have the same jump range, so the truck stops are going to form a line allowing all quantum capable ships to make the trek to Hurston. We're also getting two new mission givers with all the lore and backstory that you'd expect. Hurston with 3.3.5 is going to be our first usable planet with a major hub called Lorville. Hurston's also going to have four moons with various biomes. Aberdeen, Ariel, Ida, and Magda. I like exploring, but I really prefer space combat and dogfighting. Having said that, I'm hoping to see corrections and improvements to the flight model and ESP. 3.3 has a lot of stuff in it, but the thing I'm most interested in is 3.3.5. It's my belief that that patch is going to give us a better feel for what the final game is going to look like, with its deliberate travel times giving us a sense of vastness. New ships always generate excitement and 3.3 won't disappoint. The Mustang rework is launching all variants, the Super Swag Constellation Phoenix, the Mobile Weapons Platform Aegis Hammerhead, and the Tumbrel Cyclone variants. There are two new ship weapon series, the Hurston Dynamic Attrition and the Dominant series, which I'm going to do a complete review on. And I'll round out the rest of this video with the tech improvements. VoIP and FOIP are voice over IP and face over IP. These systems are going to map your face into your character's face with a webcam. They're also going to offer some limited head tracking as part of the system. Not everyone's a fan, but it's going to be interesting to see what that brings to the game. I'll close out with a rundown of OCS, which was delayed. OCS, or Object Container Streaming, is a critically required optimization that, when implemented, will allow Star Citizen to continue to expand the way it's intended. OCS is going to triage assets and preload them into memory in an intelligent manner to ensure that assets are ready when they're needed. The system has no specific draw distance or bubble. The assets are loaded based on their significance and scale. As the name suggests, assets are streamed in or streamed out automatically and the process should be undetectable by the client. This is the critical system that's been planned for patch 3.3.5, which will allow very long distances to be a reality. There you go. Please stay tuned for the updated information this Friday on when we might see OCS. My goal is to grow this channel and I can't do that without the help of citizens like you. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.